Trader Genius uh, Stock Option Daily Review for March 2nd, 2020. And uh, I'm recording this at the end of March, so we know that this has been quite a phenomenal month. Uh, <clears throat> the stock market has crashed, and it's gone up, and it's gone down. And in times of huge instability, huge swings, that's when stock options uh, are a really good place to be. And for a couple reasons. One is you're, you, you're out. If you're day trading, you're out. So I'll, if you notice, a lot of the huge activity occurs after hours, which means that if you guess wrong and it opened up down a thousand points the next morning, or you guess the other way and it opened up a thousand points the next morning, it's like a fire alarm or the, the cops or whatever. I mean, it's an emergency. So <clears throat> uh, having said that, uh, with stock options, we teach day trading, get out, uh, don't be overnight. And so you don't have to, you sleep well, as opposed to the millions of people who are wondering what they're going to do now that they just lost 30 or 40 or $100,000. <clears throat> but when there's huge swings, there's huge opportunities. And we're going to be doing a, uh, a bunch of videos on different days showing you where you could have made some money. And we like to say 10% in 10 minutes. And that doesn't mean that uh, you turn your computer on and 10 minutes later you've made 10% on your money. It means the trades are very short and sweet. All right. So we're going to take a look at uh, Apple in... Um, March 2nd and as you can see it's in the orange zone which I call the no man's zone you don't uh, no man's land you do not trade here nothing is happening on the basket this is not a tutorial I'm not going to be telling you what to look for to get in and what to look for for to get out that's why you need to take the training which is in the description and you need to uh, work with a coach if you want to speed up your uh, your process all right so we're just going to move forward i'm going to use the little keyboard arrow to move forward as you can see we're still in that orange area uh, <clears throat> we've moved to five minute candles well, we're in five minute candles and uh, not much is going on uh, we've got a little bit of green uh, now it breaks through now is it going to stay through We've got a couple resistant points. It has stayed above. I'm going to take that as a signal to buy. All right, now we're going to continue on and see what happens. We're up at 6%, we're at 5%, we're at 8%. It's moving. The basket is uh, supporting us. We have no real reason to get out. Uh, we're moving ahead, we're moving ahead. This is looking like a really good move. Now uh, we should be thinking about uh, getting out because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles, but we're still higher highs. And um, now we're getting close. Just see what happens here. Oh, still going not a whole heck, lots of volume. Basket is still supporting us. Kind of hit a spot where we're, it's like struggling. Is it going to go through? Yeah. And I'm thinking I'm going to have an itchy finger. I'd rather get out too soon than too late. And this is kind of. <clears throat> not not looking good for me it's also right around the uh, top of the hour which often suggests uh, it, you know you have turns in the market every 15 minutes and we've been going for over an hour so I'm gonna get out and uh, that was a 57 percent gain and I like to go a little bit further not in the trade just to see if uh, you know if I got out kind of you can't time these to get out at the exact right second, by the way. You know, you always want to get out a little bit early. And it looks like it's kind of over. All right. Cool. 
Now, uh, we're going to take a look at Amazon, which this, and as you can see with the basket going up, if you had missed this, which is my point now, if you had missed this trade, uh, could you have gotten in another one? So let's take a look. 1043 is when we got in, so let's go back to 1038, uh, and we're going to take a look at Amazon. <clears throat> Again, this is not teaching you what to do this is just showing you that there were opportunities to make money in the market despite the fact that it has been such a wild ride in fact because it's been such a wild ride we're seeing opportunities that we haven't seen when the market is you know stable so here we go we're uh, we're underneath the no man's land heading towards it so we're not going to be trading here even though it's looking green and it's going through it We're waiting for a strong signal. That looks like it could be. Um, so let's go in. And oh, it's struggling to get out of no man's land. Might have made a mistake. Oh, there's. <coughs> Looks like we're off. Uh, maybe not. Yes, no, yes, no. It goes up, it goes down. That's just the way it always is. And we've made 29%. I'm probably thinking I want to get out because, oh, there's a little bit more. We've had. Uh, Well, we've got some indicators saying we should probably get out and I'm thinking I'm going to get out here. All right. <clears throat> and just go a little bit further. And ooh, yeah, that was the indicators gave us a, a good signal. To get out. So we're out 39%. All right. So we're going to look a little later in the day because <clears throat> this is this is the morning, but sometimes there are moves in the afternoon so let's take a look around let's go about 3 15 uh, and we're going to take a look at ma uh, it, it as you can see it had uh, the same you know the whole market went up so sometimes you can get into different stocks you don't need to worry about maximizing which stock you just want to get in get out and don't be greedy although we were quite fortunate all right so um, let's move forward see what's happening here with ma not much not much volume not much of anything and uh, looks like we've got a little bit of movement a little bit of movement and uh, well let's just see what happens we only got a very short period of time before the market closes and we want to be out so we're going to move ahead we made a little bit it's 20 minutes till market close Ooh, there's a big jump we've got some volume and it's 10 minutes before it closes I think uh, we'll get out now because we don't want to be stuck overnight Awesome. So, was a good day. And we got into Apple for about an hour and 15 minutes. Hour and uh, 17 minutes. Hour and 20 minutes. 57% Amazon. We were in for just over an hour and 10 minutes. 39% MA, we were in for 27 minutes, 30%. Not a normal day, but uh, certainly if you were in the game, you were able to take advantage of this. So uh, the first thing you have to do is learn, and the second thing you do is practice. So uh, head down, we've got some courses in the description, and then uh, you can get a 30-day free trial of the software, work with the coach, and see what you can do.
Thanks for joining us, everybody. Bye-bye.